You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Cahoots Toys for a review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Today, Elise and I are going to do another, well, today we decided it's going to be a daughter crafting day. We're just going to do one set. Yes. This is the Stitch Kits, the Color by Stitch Embroidery Kit. But before we begin, we need to say thanks to Cahoots for sending us this really fun craft to do on video. It's also ages 8 plus. Okay, ages 8 plus. Let's see. Easy to do, just one stitch to learn. So you're okay. going to have to learn the stitch. Yeah. It includes supplies and instructions. Now, looking at the two, yeah. which one do you think you want to do? Hmm, I think the unicorn. Flower? The which one do you want to do? Unicorn. Flower? Unicorn. All right. <laughs> of course, I knew you were going to say that. Let me <laughs> turn the box around. It says, Stitch kits are a fun and easy way to learn to stitch. The outlines of the design are already embroidered on the cloth, ready for you to color by stitching. There's only one simple stitch to learn, and you choose where to add each color to make the design your own. It's that easy. Okay. All right, so you're going to learn how to stitch, right? Yeah. All right, so oh, looking at the box here, it says bonus display easel. So you, oh, cut, nice. you cut the box out to display it. When we come back then, we'll get our stitch kit out of the box. All right. Unicorn or flower? Unicorn. Flower? Unicorn. All right, unicorn. <laughs> Are you ready, Elise? Yes, I am. So we stop so that we can do a camera angle change. That's why mm -hmm. I stop. Otherwise, then I got to do it in the video and it's not as fluid that way. Okay, I will take the instructions. Right. You will take that. That. There's a little yeah, thing blue, there. Blue, pink, pink. Yellow. Dark purple and light purple. All right. And this is... Hold it in there. I want to make sure we don't hurt it taking it out. It seems to be pretty, pretty tough material. Okay, there you go. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, tips for cutting out paper needle threader. To use the paper needle threader printed on the top right inside corner of the stitch kit's instruction guide, you may need to trim the needle threader to narrow width to fit through the eye of your needle. A width of less than 0.25 inches is recommended. Oh, we're going to have to check that out. Where was that? Where did it say? Top left corner. Do, 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 do. Top right corner of the stitch kit's instructions. Okay. Hmm. Needle threader. This little piece right here is the needle threader. Okay. You think that's going to be something we're going to use? I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, now we got it all in the box. We see all the pieces. I think we should do a quick little review. All right. Then we will come back and we will get started. And you're going to have to think about colors and we'll learn how to set it up. We'll learn the stitch and then you can just go for it, okay? All right. All right, we are back. We are back. And Elise pointed out that the needle was in a little plastic bag at the top of right the hoop, here. right? Yep. I didn't see it to begin with. That's all right, okay. so we are going to do. Step one, this section here, place the cloth and the hoop. The hoop keeps your cloth steady while stitching. It also displays your finished design. All right, okay. loosen the screw at the top of the hoop and remove the nuts. So do that. Okay, remove the inner, after that, remove the inner ring. Okay, uh... Center the inner ring, that's the white one, All right. around the back of your design. So turn okay. that over, put that in there, center it. Got it? Yep. Now carefully flip over the, the cloth and inner ring, holding the ring centered in place. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, you got it. Got it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Gently open the outer ring, place it over the cloth, and press down over the inner ring. All right. Okay. okay squish it. it all in. You want to squish this all in, okay. all the way around. And you're going to pinch here. Okay, keep pinching. Keep pinching and setting. Gently open the outer ring, place it over the cloth, and press down over the ring. Replace and tighten the screw so the cloth is held taut between the two rings okay. of the hoop. Okay, yeah, you might need to do that for me. Okay, 
Can you put your finger on that that uh, long? There you go. See teamwork. Okay. Now you can pick this up and start tightening here. I'll help you with that. That's there. And you're gonna hold that and tighten. Okay. I think you got it. All right. All right. That's the first part of the process. Okay. We will tighten that up. It needs to be cinched in just a little bit more. Now we're just off slightly, depending on where you're looking. Okay. From here to here is good, but from that tip to here, so I don't know, I guess it really doesn't matter. We're gonna leave it like that, because that's the way it is. And we're gonna come back now and do the next step. All right, Elise and I are back. Now we are done with this. We've tightened it up pretty good. Yes. I had to stretch it a little bit here and then mm -hmm. tighten and stretch, yeah. but I think we got it. You said it's like a little bongo drum, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, next is the thread. So she wants to do a little bit different. We're going to start here in the tail section and you want to do blue. blue. All right, so it says cut a length of thread about 18 inches long. All right, okay. so let me get this started for you. Now, uh, in the old days, you were able to just pull here and it would carefully, let's see, if it didn't get twisted up, you can keep pulling, but I think yeah. it's going to get stuck. Let's just... Ooh, look at that. Okay, so I'll hold this end here. You're okay. gonna take one length of thread, okay? Got it. And then you have your handy dandy guide right here. Okay, so you have centimeters there and inches here. So it okay. says 18. So what are you gonna do? Go ahead. Okay, you go from here, right there. Okay, that's eight. Pinch. That's 16. Mm -hmm. And now you need two more inches. And two. Okay, oh. so pinch. Right. And that's where we cut. Yes. Right on your finger. Watch your Yay. finger. Oh, bad cut. Okay. Ooh. There. It. Now it says teamwork. Holding the cut floss. Near the end, grasp one individual strand and gently pull it up and out while still holding the other strands. Okay. So it's going to get twisted up. Yeah. Now you want to pinch here, pinch here. Pinch here. Yeah, okay. and pull up to pull that one strand out. Is it coming out? Yep. Pull out another strand. So now stretch that all out. So you want three strands. Three strands, got it. There's two. Two strands. All right. Separate it. Okay, there. so there you go. So now hold the three strands together smooth into a neat group so get all the ends together and then they just kind of show you like putting it all together and going down there and i'll smooth that all together okay now we're on how to stitch Ooh, yeah there you go here i'll pull the two to even it out a little bit more there you go there. all right Okay, so they're all nice, mm -hmm. smooth together. All right, let's move on to the next step, how to right. stitch, which means I think we're gonna need to cut this out, so let's do it. All right, are you ready to thread the needle? Yes. All right, now, let's cut this out. There's also a handy one here. Now, look at this, I was looking at this. This one is much thinner yeah. than this one, and we were looking at the needle, grab the needle, this one will not fit through yeah. uh, the needle. It's, it's way too, too wide. Yeah. So we're gonna cut this one here. Okay. Now, unless maybe there's a different needle or something that you can use. So get ready, yeah. start grabbing your thread and your needle. And I want you to save this. You can use any piece of paper for this. It doesn't have to be yeah. this. Okay, I will get it set, fold this in half. Okay, so now you put your thread in 
the crease. Kind of pinch it and then put that through the needle head. And then pull it out the other end. Yay! Got it? Yeah, Alright, pull it. a little longer so you don't lose it. Okay, now it's time to stitch. Are you ready to learn the stitch? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. All right, Elise and I are back. Nicely threaded this for me, Elise. That was great. <laughs> now, Elise was a little uncertain if she can do it, so I thought yes. I would start. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we have a special printout here mm -hmm. that helps uh, for newbies like us because yeah. we had a couple questions. One, if you're following this pattern here, all right, so it is up one, down two, okay. then up three, down four. Okay. That will only work if you start from left to right or top. Now, if you're going right. from bottom up, hmm. you need to follow this. Right. One, two, three, four, and then you're gonna restart the one up here, then come down here, then over to three and back to four. So I'll just <laughs> do one here. Okay. Okay, so. Now, you could either just lightly poke it till you see where the hole is. Okay, I'm gonna start up here. I'm trying to find, okay, now I know where it's at. Did you see where it came through? Um, there, now I know I'm in that hole. Okay. Now I'm gonna go up one, right? Okay, yeah. And then you're gonna pinch here to hold that. And then you wanna leave a little tail here. Okay, because we're gonna wanna seal that down. Got it. Okay, and then down two so we could take this here now and we'll lock it in on the next one so down two is in this corner here okay, okay. watch your finger in the back mm -hmm. okay and then you're gonna make it a little snug and now here's where we're gonna try to lock this in so now you're gonna go over to th up three which is in this oh sorry that's okay this right corner here. So you could flip it or you can just, ooh, I'm way off. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, well, it takes practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you're doing amazing, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> there, I've almost found it. Now you could flip it over, but for me, being a total noob. Now I want to, here, take that and push, hold that down underneath. Lift that over and we want that to be Locked in. Let, let my loop go up now. Yeah, let my loop go up. I can't see your hand is in the way. Oh. And bring that down. You want to bring this down. Okay. No, no, no. Let go of that. I'll bring the loop. There you go. Okay. Now just hold this down. Now watch. See how it locks it in? Okay, so that just locked that in. Okay. And then now you're going to go down... Okay. So there is our first X. All right. Watch. Good job. Okay. Nice. Now that's there. That's going to be locked in there. Now if we go down or across, it's really up to you. But now the next one is where's the next one's right here. So you're working your way down. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. And you're going to just keep that pattern going. Okay. So why don't you try to stick, here, I'll start it. One. I think I got it. So I'm now pull that. that, is your one, see, your bottom left corner. Hold the thread, there you go. Pull it all the way through, pull. Okay, make it a little snug. Now you're gonna go to this upper right. Right here? No, next okay. there, yep. Yeah. Pull that through. Okay, and then your three now is this one right here. So you can slowly try to poke it to find it, or you can flip it over, I find, next to that one. It's going to be really close. Watch your finger. Up a little. Down a little. You're, nope. I can't see. Okay, well then if you turn it over, it's going to be, here, let me have it, I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> So now it's going to be, see, that's why I have a hard time going upside down. But mm -hmm. Once you start poking, you gotta, 
you'll find your way through. Oops, see, so now I'm totally off. That's right there. Okay. Okay. And now the four goes up into this corner. All right, so we're going to keep working at it. All right. Yes. You've got two stitches. Mm -hmm. So now you can practice. Okay. And we'll try to get this all in blue. I don't think we're going to do much on video because I think you're going to sit down and do this. Yes. And it's not very comfortable here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll check in once the blue section is done. Yeah. And then we'll keep working our way. It's going to take a little while. And then we'll come back and keep checking in until this project is done. All right, Elisa and I are back. The blue section is done. Yes. And I'll turn it over so everybody can see. It gets a little crazy there because yeah. you're trying to fill it all in and get near the black. So you kind of have to start and stop and move your needle over. So you are now working on the second part of the main, right? Yes. So you chose purple. You've done a few. So I think we're going to do is let her do this on camera because she's a little more comfortable with it now mm -hmm. and we'll uh, stop talking and just videotape you going section by section if you have any questions just ask me and then we will come back when that section is done
Elise, you're doing great. Thank you. So you've done quite a few sections here, have yes. you? Very yes, nice. Thank you. All right, so I'll tell you what. Well, stop there. Hold oh, it up okay. so everybody could see. So you have done the light blue, the purple, mm -hmm. the pink, mm -hmm. and then you're going to finish the rest of the body yes. in the light purple. All right, so continue on. She is going to finish this now. We will come back when it's all done to see your final stitch kit artwork. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we will check back. All right. All done. Well, finally all done. How does it feel to do your first stitch kit? Pretty good, actually. And then what can you offer anybody some advice out there? What was your, uh, well, what can you offer in advice? Okay, so at first it might be a little bit difficult to do the X's. Mm -hmm. But the more you do it, mm -hmm. the easier and faster it gets. I understand. All right, don't forget now, if you're going from left to right, right to left up down you follow this if you're going yeah. from down up you need to follow this particular pattern for those yeah. of you that are new like us now look at the back of the box this is the stand yes. they show it here in the instructions finish and display see if you could read that while i start cutting here don't let me interrupt you just go and it's nice they give you a little slot to put your mm -hmm. scissors in leave your finishes in and hope to display. a little louder so we can all hear you Leave your finished design in the hoop to display. Okay. Trim the edges of the fabric with scissors or from, or fold them back and okay. secure it with craft glue. Got it. Place your finished project in the display sand mm -hmm. from the back of the kit's I'm box. I'm working on that now. Okay. Come on, let me just get this out of here. I'm, having, I'm struggling here to cut this and it's looking really choppy. I don't like nice. choppy cuts. Yes. Must have perfect cuts. <laughs> oh, I think I just did my stand in there. All right, there we go. Oh, and it goes. Okay, I get it now. All right. Whew. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little piece of tape. I ripped it. Can you grab me a piece? Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Put that right there and seal that up. Uh, no, right here. Right here. Just well, there. Too yeah, long. that's all right. That'll be good. Then we'll fold that over. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, good job. Yeah, I might need a little more. We'll see. There, that's so much easier. Okay. <laughs> to help yourself, take the back off first. It'll be much easier than trying to follow it inside the packaging. Right, so what do you want to do? Do you want to trim yours um, or leave it? Sure. I think we have to trim it. Or you can also fold it over. And yeah, that's what they it. said. But what do you want to do now? We're, we're in the middle of a video. What do you want to do? Um, I don't know. Let's display it. Okay, so they show it this way, but I think it would look better this way. Hmm. Oh, that's the back. Okay, so yeah. you want the pink in front. Okay. Can I start trimming? Yeah, go ahead. Trim it. Right. See how easy it is for you to cut. Okay. Yeah, I'm a lefty, so... I know, those scissors can be hard for you, so... Want me to do it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we gotta get you a pair of lefty scissors. Yeah. I have some in my bedroom, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know you had a pair there. Yeah. Oh, it's even hard for me when it gets to the thicker part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll show everybody the back, though, huh? All right. Now, we probably were not as efficient as the professional stitcher. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So you'll see. We're kind of, um, we got some good patterns going. <laughs> yes. But you have to stop and start because you mm -hmm. do two or three rows and then you're out. And then if you want to fill some here and you have some, you stretch it all the way across because there's yeah. still areas, they even show it on the box that are not completely filled <laughs> right in there. yeah right there the yeah and it almost looks like they didn't do complete x's there so i guess it really depends on how accurate you are with your x's even up here we probably could have gone another layer in there huh yeah 
All right, so that goes like that. Then put that in there. I'll turn the camera in. Ooh, look at that. There we go. Nice job. Clear everything out. All right, so that was your first official stitch kit. Yes. All right, so we have one extra kit. We're not going to do that one, everybody. Mm -hmm. We are going to leave that. Maybe someone out there in the real world wants a stitch kit of their own. Yep. Let us know. You can go into the description area. We will put some information there. <laughs> and then uh, I would say you did a really great job. Thank you. And thanks for watching, everybody. Now, remember, looking at the description... So you know how to get an item from Lucky Penny Shop. You have to fill out a parental consent. If you're yes, you 13 do. and under, it's very important. Elise reads all the letters and checks for the <laughs> uh, uh, parental guidance there. I mean, parental restrictions there. I mean, parental, yeah, restrictions. You have to have a <laughs> signature. And yeah. thanks for watching, everybody. Later. Bye. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.